Hello, all you beautiful people out there. What is going on? This is Fred Barry coming to fast with another Paragon video, or at least Paragon gameplay. Today, we are going to be talking about Core and Predecessor. The title of this video is probably something like, How Can Paragon 2 Die Before It's Even Born? Or some clickbaity shit like that. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. One, I do want to talk about this topic, but at the same time, I made some questionable purchases in the past couple weeks and I uh, kind of needed the, you know, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, uh, let's get right into the video. Uh, what do I mean by this? So what do I mean by this? I I've actually had some people talk to me about this in chat while I've been streaming, which is why I want to bring it to the YouTube side of things. Paragon 2 will die before it's born is an argument that some people have made because they're saying that the hype is too big around uh at this point core now and why i say that i don't include predecessor in there right now i will talk about them in a second is because we kind of saw a case in point what happened with predecessor and what can happen with core which means what will happen with quote unquote paragon 2 in general the reason i i'm using that obviously i have changed my videos to talk more specifically about core and predecessor but i'm using paragon 2 as a collective to talk about both at the same time uh because uh they're essentially the you know spiritual successors and all that so what we saw with predecessor is that uh, they released their first look at a closed alpha and, you know, they kept telling everybody, I kept telling everybody, Mongoose kept telling everybody, a lot of other uh, content creators and influencers kept telling their audiences that this is an alpha. This is a pre-alpha. This is, this is super duper duper uber early in the development cycle. Many game developers don't show this side of it and that this is not how the finished product's going to be at all. And this is just there to show you what we've done so far. And the handling of it was subpar, to say the least. To be honest, I wish they handled it a bit better. Uh, I already sent my criticisms, Sergeant Smokey's way, long ago during when this actually happened. Uh, because it's been, wow, it's been over a month now. Holy shit, that's crazy. So, th there definitely wasn't that clean of, of a launch of, you know, on the streaming side of things. And then also... The pre-alpha itself was not in a completely playable state yet. Like, yeah, you can hop in there and move around and cast abilities and everything. But, you know, the latency was the biggest issue, as I mentioned in previous videos. That really uh, killed the buzz for me there. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that first impressions are everything. And that that is real, and that even comes down to why Core delayed their closed alpha. As they mentioned, it was supposed to be April 27th, but they delayed it, and they said that it's not as best as they could have it be. And that's crazy because, again, I wasn't expecting anything, anything, you know, crazy coming out of Predecessor. In fact, they did better than I expected of them. The latency was a big buzzkill, but their progress was, you know, it surpassed my expectations for sure. And I don't keep high expectations in general for alphas, and I'm quite aware... Uh, of, of the situation here, but a lot of people aren't and the, the definition of alphas and betas I feel like have changed uh, over the years for sure uh, You had like anthem doing their beta and stuff and that kind of ruined a little bit of things as well uh, Going forward so it, people expect full games out of alphas, which is just not the case and I gotta commend Metaba for you know Just taking the bullet up front and being like hey, we're just gonna delay it because we're not gonna risk having what happened with Predecessor, essentially. Uh, people are still hyped for Predecessor, don't get me wrong. I'm still excited to play it. I'm excited to test it some more. I'm excited to see what comes of it. But it is like a really big stain in a white t-shirt that's just really, really hard to get out at this point. Uh, at least in the short term. In the long term, people are gonna forget about it. People aren't gonna care. All right, no one's gonna, it's not gonna matter. Nobody remembers Paragon's closed alpha, right back before the Founders passes even. They had an, a closed alpha. No one remembers any of that unless you go and watch videos of it. So I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue in the long term. But because these are indie developers, because these games aren't super well known across the larger audience of gamers, it's like it means a lot to get that big starting boost, that starting jump 
of you know viewership and advertisement and word of mouth and everything like everything needs to be a hundred percent smooth sailing right out the gate because any little thing can just completely cause the the ship to just crash and and sink and just get fucked up like the titanic bro like you just it, it any little thing at this point in time for such small developers like they can't handle it okay if you want to think of epic games epic games is like this navy boat like this giant navy arsenal armada ship of death and destruction and then you know meta buff right now are just like a little rowboat and if they crash into you know like a little iceberg the big navy armada ship is gonna fucking rko it and then meta buff is gonna sink so you you have to understand that the things that these developers are doing uh, at least what meta buff is doing is the right thing in my opinion right now is that they're you know delaying it more and more until it's absolutely 100 percent perfect and honestly honestly as a streamer you know i love streaming core i love streaming predecessor it brings me in a lot of viewers but i would totally be okay if they do a lot of closed door stuff to avoid having those kind of hiccups to avoid having their image and their reputation tarnished before they even get a chance to express themselves essentially and that's what i mean by how can it die before it is born so to speak uh that is where that comes from where that argument where that question comes from it's like is it possible for paragon 2 to die uh before it is even born and that is all based off of your expectations like i said my image of predecessor was not entirely permanently you know tarnished like it's not a giant crazy stain as for someone who might thought that you know on the day of release of a pre-alpha from predecessor It'd be exactly like Paragon, it'd be exactly where Paragon left off from. That's just not the case. That's just absolutely not the case. And uh, I had those proper expectations, but the majority of people don't. The majority of people think that when Core comes out with whatever they come out, it's going to be a million percent better than Paragon. It's going to be incredible. And I constantly i try to have this good balance of you know hyping people up and getting people excited having fun with it but at the same time i try to have a good balance with telling at least my audience to keep realistic expectations because if if you think that this is going to be you know paragon 2 in the most literal sense where they just take paragon and they keep going and they just like it absolutely mind-boggling no bugs no issues day one you're gonna be disappointed and i keep repeating this because i hope that it, it reaches a large enough audience to where it, it starts becoming the majority way of thinking about things. Again, because because you know over over expectations just kill everything. Like, look at Anthem, dude. Like people were so crazy duper super duper hyped for that game, and then you know there were the internet issues during the beta, and then when the full game came out, the loot system was lackluster, and it just all depends on your expectations. Now now core now meta buff and Omina Studios and Predecessor are trying to meet those expectations, but you have to understand that it's not going to be as easy for them to do it as it is for a AAA developer like Epic Games. So with that in mind, guys, can Paragon 2 die before it's born? Yeah, it can. If, like I said, if there are any hiccups that are just taken to the extreme by an overhyped community, by an overhyped player base that are just yearning for something like Paragon to come back and they'll grasp at any little thing. But at the same time, if it's not exactly the way they want it when it comes back, they're going to be even more disappointed and they're going to lose hope. And that is how this can get topsy-turvy. Uh, so th that's my two cents on the whole argument. Uh, that's just some insight from my perspective. I guess you could call it that. Uh, I just, I think, I I do have faith for people ask me. I do have faith in both developers. Uh, I need to play Core before I can tell you which one I prefer more, Predecessor to Core, because people have been asking me that question as well. Like, which one do you go, which one are you going to play? Which one do you like more, Predecessor to Core? I don't know. I need to play, like, the actual game games and compare the actual game games when they're done because there's no point in comparing both of these games right now as they stand. It's like me being asked which car do i prefer most when all i see is the engine i'm like i don't know maybe i'll like i'll like the bmw because it looks cooler than the mercedes or maybe i'll take the mercedes because it gets better mileage but if you just give me the engines of both cars and that's it i can't tell you which one i'd prefer so hopefully that metaphor makes sense for you guys anyway that's enough of me here i know i know there's gonna be tons of comments like 
uh, you know, can, can Paragon 2 die before being born? Answer, yes, there, saved you 10 minutes on this video, blah, 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 blah. There's going to be all sorts of those comments, but you already know I keep it real. I already know how y'all going to do it here because I've been around for a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my clickbaity video. I'm really running out of funds here, dude. I need to stop buying shoes, bro.